In the first video of this series, we show you how I was able to contact my good friend Leopoldo Aguirre, that's known as Polo. He's a wizard in networking. I say, Polo, let, let's uh, separate the network at home using this uh, PSN device uh, to have the insecure devices, the IoT, in the LAN 1 for this Wi Fi which is the one that I had already, and then I put another Wi-Fi and put in the uh, two network my secure devices. And now what we are going to show you is what is it that we did to send flows from both networks into Curator. And you say, why do you want to do that? Well, I want to know my network at home. I want to understand what my IoT devices are doing, who are they talking, what port are they using. I want to know more networking at home and more networking itself by using this setup. But I don't have logs in my house. Like in a corporation, you have applications that send logs. I don't have any of that, nor I want to have that. Well, with the exception that I, we might be getting some logs from PFSense as well. We're going to explore that with Polo later. But um, I want to get to know what what everything is doing in my house and this will give you an idea of the complexity of the things that are actually going home and I want to monitor both my insecure as well as my secure network so basically what we did is that we installed a softflow D package more on that later and we we told it collect all the traffic from both networks the OPT and the LAN and send them via UDP to this 105 network on the on the OPT network on port 2055, which is the flow port. And this is precisely the one that my Fusion uses to connect to the OPT LAN. And then we have some forwarding rules that I'll show you in a second that basically is, is going to send all that pang into curators. Uh, and that's what you actually see in here in the background. This is the traffic of both networks. You see the dot two and dot one network of all the stuff. Notice that I use quad nine at home and I'm actually quite happy with it. Uh, so let's actually show you the how we did the forwarding. So I'm, I'm using Fusion, but what if you use uh, VMware on Windows, you, you know that it's uh, very similar. In fact, you have GUIs to do this instead of uh, files in Fusion. So in the NAT.com file, I put these entries basically says Edison on port 2055 send it to that curator box which is precisely what we're going to do on the same port 2055 then if you restart fusion or issue these commands then in the networking file in fusion these statements are added and that that performs your forwarding okay all enough from that we have that going now I want to understand stuff better so for example what is my laptop that I have here next to me doing. And in Curator, it's actually very easy to search for anything. Let me show you the easiest way. You click here where it says Add Filter. I want to filter from all this barrage of data in my house. I want to look for source IP. So all I have to do here is type source, and it says, oh, all these are your options. Uh, source IP index equal. And my laptop has 192.168. It's in the secure network, the dot to network and is a 104 and I add a filter right and I select here an option to go real-time streaming the laptop has been sitting there doing nothing or oh, or do I think is doing nothing notice that there's actually some communication already going the this 2.1 is actually the gateway and notice that it's uh, doing DNS resolution of what? I mean, I'm not doing anything with it, right? Well, but there are agents on the machine that are actually uh, doing stuff. And before I forget, in the video description, I'm going to put links to both the previous video of this series, as well as a video where it shows you how you can download the free Curator CE to have this uh, same setup at home. Uh, one additional thing that I have uh, is actually the the Watson, so I can actually look for any one of these IP addresses. Uh, these 35s are typically Amazon. Let's, let me actually go and, and ask Watson for that particular address. See, you know, what is this? 
125. Watson is far more capable of doing, you know, more than this, but I just have it in here, so I, I want to see what these results do. And sure enough, yeah, this is uh, so something in my in my machine is using something that uses something that you know has something in in AWS, and that's the complexity of the environment. I'm going to open a browser, and I'm just going to go and put CNN.com, or if you prefer Fox, you can also do that CNN.com, and hit enter, and and you will expect that I will be getting just a DNS query for 53 port 53 to get the IP address of CNN.com and then the cnn.com well let's see how much traffic does that generates so i can also instead of waiting for the traffic i can actually go here and select tell me everything that my machine has been doing the last uh, 15 minutes or so whoa two pages of all this type of traffic that is actually very nice you can actually, I can actually sort this by where is it that this is actually going. I know that the source IP is my machine. Let's see, if, let's sort this out by destination IP. Oh, these are all the addresses that are going. It's almost everything in the U.S. except for this one, right? I can see geography-wise, kind of. Uh, this is going to be U.S. and other, and we saw the other one, which is this one, in particular in the Netherlands. That's probably some. Uh, actually, I think that's a soft layer uh, site that, that IBM has uh, there. So you can sort by port, you know, what port is actually being used. Let's see by uh, destination port. And you can see what is actually being done encrypted. Oh, look, there's some still stuff going on port 80. Not much. Notice that you get also the sum of bytes. So you see how much the traffic is actually going back and forth. So you can get to know your your devices, you know, very nicely. Now let's actually perform another search. Uh, let's go back here and do a search. Notice that Quad Nine is the the DNS resolver that we use uh, at home. So actually, we're quite happy with it. Let's actually search for one of my uh, IoT devices. So again, I'm going to sort by source IP. Type source IP. And I can make it, uh, it is 192.168 is the dot .1, which is the LAN, the insecure network. And the address of one of my cameras is 115. It's actually at that as the filter and uh, let's go back in time 45 minutes and see what my camera has actually been doing <laughs> look at that all that traffic are my cameras talking to china well let me actually sort that out by geography and see well good well notice this is interesting i this other in here what is that other notice the destination ip is 192.168.11 that's actually my gateway right so I'm not interested on that. So in any part of the search, you can right click and do filter when destination is not that, because I'm not interested on that part and you get only that segment. Notice how cool this is, how easy you can get to know your network better and get to learn networking using your free QRadar CE. Let me go for a second and show you what we did in, uh, in PSN. So notice that I have, well, first, we installed the going here on the package manager which is what i am right now you see in my install packages it's actually retrieving that information you see that the soft flow d is actually we added that and in the available package you can see all the goodness that exists that you can learn there there's a we plan on doing some snort rules in the future and some other stuff there's a ton of packages in here you can investigate this and this can be a great way of you uh, to learn more networking so we install that package and then we go here on the services and it shows up here on the soft flow d and we are telling it what first of all we enable it and we're saying check everything on both lands and opt in secure 
and secure network and send it to that host which is the IP address of my VMware Fusion connecting to the same LAN. That's how easy it is for you to use your free Curator CE at home, not only to have your network more secure, but also to investigate what is actually going on and get to increase your networking practical knowledge with it.